Reporting live from the Marina Bay Sands Hotel here in Singapore, it's live from last week episode 86. Let's go! Welcome me, my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So to start off, if you guys don't know where I am, I am still in Bali, Indonesia. Reporting live at the famous Kuta Beach, where we just wrapped up a couple of our daily activities. But earlier today, it all started off with getting up hella early in the morning once again, because I couldn't get much sleep, too excited to check out today's sunrise. But of course, when I got changed and got outside, after staying up for several hours already this morning, the sun just didn't show up because it was cloudy. What a mistake. Anyways, on a good note, we did start off today's breakfast with this amazing Balinese porridge, which the majority of the family had for the first meal of the day. And afterwards, we were blessed to go back to downtown Ubud and check out the world famous Monkey Forest. Guys, that monkey forest was actually pretty fun. Except for the fact that I actually got attacked by one of the monkeys. What are you doing? Get away from me. Ah! <laughs> no, no. Afterwards, we headed out to a nearby restaurant close to the airport, the Bamboo Sports Bar, which had an amazing interior, as well as a welcoming shot and some pretty delicious food where I tried their famous Australian beef burger. Next up, we headed here to the beach to scratch off a lifelong bucket list item to get surfing lessons here in the waters of Indonesia. Anyways, even though it's only 3 p.m., we're making our way back to the villa to wrap up our activities for the day. And now, back at the villa in Ubud, remember that I was taking a couple of unique and silly videos in the morning at the poolside. When we got back from the beach, I made sure to do a couple of laps and make use of the pool here at the resort, following in the wife's lead of her swimming earlier. But anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, go to sleep and rise up early because we've got a flight tomorrow morning. 
We just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that used to CA with me back when I was living at YSIC. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eileen. Happy birthday, Eileen. Next up, another YSIC member who I used to see attending events here and there back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, August. Happy birthday, August. As well, another birthday shout out to another YSIC member who I used to party with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tracy. Happy birthday, Tracy. Last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to a friend that I made back when I was involved with the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Aurelia. Happy birthday, Aurelia. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After waking up before the sunrise, walking through the rice paddy fields from our Airbnb to get to our transportation, we said bye to our gracious Airbnb host, Maddie, who helped me learn a couple of Indonesian phrases on this trip. And after a two hour drive to the airport, we said bye to our amazing driver, Deddy, who was one of the greatest people I've met here in Indonesia. All right, Deddy, see you. And now we're at the Bali airport while I'm doing some live from last week video editing, waiting for a flight to Singapore. So yeah, we're hopping on this airplane and I'll see you guys in another country. And we have arrived in Singapore at the world famous Jewel. And before I show you guys exactly what we were up to after we got to the airport, and to let you know the secret location where I am right now, let's just recap the date, shall we? So after we got driven downtown by our taxi driver, enjoying the scenic views of what is Singapore, we got to the Marina Bay Sands lobby, and since we were hungry and passed our lunch time, we got some food in their magnificently looking food court. With me trying this chicken katsu in omi rice dish, which was actually comparable to Toronto prices. We then checked into the actual Marina Bay Sands Hotel and during daytime, checked out where I am right now. The Marina Bay Sands Hotel Rooftop Pool. Woo! Look at this view. Show them the view. Boom, on top of the boat where the synchronized swimmers Swam in crazy rich Asians. What? Ready? One, two, a million bucks and like I spent a million bucks and after we were done swimming for a bit we met up with one of the wife's friends Jessica and went to this local Chinese Singaporean restaurant After enjoying that amazing meal, 
with my now favorite dish there, the dragon fruit salad. The father-in-law and I are at the rooftop pool. Stay in the background. Ready? One, two, three, cheese, click. Hoping to shut this place down before it closes for the night. So after a morning where I only got four hours of sleep last night, waking up early about whatever time it says up there, I decided to make the most out of my Marina Bay Sands accommodations from last night and figured out to get out of my room at 6 a.m. this morning and use the gym slash workout facilities that were included in my nightly stay. As well, I woke up the sister-in-law and the wife to see if they can join me for a hot tub Singapore sunrise. Checking temperature. Woo, that's hot. Hot tub with a view. That was once again on the rooftop infinity pool. Ready? One, two, three. Say sunrise. Sunrise. Yet another Asian sunrise covered in clouds. Sorry guys, I just had to get up early in the morning to get here in the pool, to have a private pool before all the influencers take this place over. And as you guys can tell by these videos, I spent hours upon hours upon even more hours at the infinity pool just trying to make the most out of my money for the fact that, I don't know if you guys know, these rooms go for over $800 each and every night. But staying here actually did come with a little bit of a bonus. We were delivered a mini chocolate cake to eat as a midnight snack last night, which in fact, I also ate as an appetizer for my breakfast this morning. And speaking of breakfast, I actually did an Uber Eats delivery to the family for the first meal of the day. A 30 minute trek to get some Singaporean McDonald's. And on my way to pick up the food, recalling this scene from last week's episode, I was able to take an actual real life video with the famous Merlion in the background. And once I got back to MBS with the food delivery, I put on my robe, did a quick Ric Flair strut, Woo! and had some breakfast in bed. And of course, post breakfast for one last time, I went back to the infinity pool to lounge and took a video from a similar viewpoint as one of these scenes that was taken from the movie Crazy Rich Asians. My own synchronized swimmers. And after finally saying goodbye and checking out of MBS, the family and I visited all together this time the famous Merlion statue. Getting a couple more videos of it while at the same time rehydrating myself. We were also able to take the Singaporean subway for the first time, which if you guys haven't noticed, clearly puts the TTC to shame. And for lunch, we made our way to the famous Newton Food Center, which is another place that is seen from the movie Crazy Rich Asians was shot. And may I add, if you guys ever visit this place, you should definitely try the mutton satay meat skewers. And for the evening, we trek back to the Marina Bay Sands area, only to check out the famous gardens by the bay. And after making my way home via Singaporean Transit, stopping by the Super Tree Grove, <laughs> 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 
just chilling in the evening at the gardens by the bay. Beautiful, just beautiful. As well as this installation in Chinatown, we got to our accommodations at the Fiorama Riverfront Hotel to enjoy some local food with the family, including this Singaporean chili crab. But yeah, before we wrap it up for the night, let's throw it back to this afternoon when I was at the gardens by the bay. We got a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends at Wysik who would always burn up the dance floor whenever we had our steamer parties. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rupak. Happy birthday, Ru. And next, we got a birthday greeting to a St. Joan of Arc alumni. One of my cousins who I remember I used to hang out with back when he was living on Pluto Drive. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jonas. Happy birthday, Jay. I'm hoping all my friends and family at this time that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Just before I start summarizing this busy day today, we're just going to do a couple of birthday greetings. Starting off with one of my family friends that I haven't seen in a long time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Zyra. Happy birthday, Zyra. Next, we have a birthday shout out to a fellow YouTuber and one of my former co-workers. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jessa. Happy birthday, Jessa. Third on the docket, we got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who I can't wait to play with later on this summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Swifty. Happy birthday, Swifty. Last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to another former FCAR alumni. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Angie. Happy birthday, Angie. I'm hoping that all my friends and family out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, moving on to the events of today. After we saw my in-laws to get on their shuttle to the airport this morning, although it's kind of hard to recreate this video that we took just 24 hours ago, but this morning I still saw the Singapore sunrise through the buildings downtown. I was also able to relax by the poolside at the hotel pool while editing the live from last week video that is set to come out Friday morning. And I don't know if I mentioned to you guys about the Marina Bay Sands room service, but we got them to bring us a box of chocolates branded by the hotel themselves, which I was able to finally taste the day after we checked out of that hotel. And to be honest guys, these chocolates were actually pretty good and of course with the help of the wife her and i were able for breakfast to have these delicious leftovers and after finishing that up and checking out of the hotel we ventured out to singapore's chinatown area went to the people's park hawker center for lunch which is a place that locals and visitors both alike can go to get really cheap and affordable and delicious food also from the famous hawker chan vendor we were able to get the soy sauce chicken rice, which has now become a new favorite dish of mine. And to top of our meal, we got some freshly squeezed, freshly juiced sugarcane juice too. Oh, this is good. And believe it or not, all this food came out to about $20 Canadian. Next up, we made our way to our accommodations for the evening at Yotel Air. A hotel located actually inside Changi International Airport, checking into this quirky, tiny little room to relax for the afternoon. And after once again checking out the beautiful waterfalls here at the Jewel, we headed back downtown to Lao Pa Sat, a place where we had our dinner tonight. Which actually kind of reminded me about the food building at the CNE. Except being at a more affordable price, with dishes costing between five to ten dollars for each of our meals. We also saw that there was an outdoor saute night market outside on the streets behind the building where we took in the atmosphere for a little bit. Then headed to the local McDonald's to get a couple of dollar menu ice cream cones so that we had something to eat while walking around the riverfront nightlife bar area. We finally completed our evening by going back to the Merlion area where we saw these amazing views of the Marina Bay Sands with the accompaniment of a historic supermoon in the background. And at 9pm, 
the Marina Bay Sands put on a little light show for us to say goodbye and wrap up this part of our vacation in Singapore. Today, I'm preparing for one of the longest days in my life, mainly because I have to fly through several time zones to get back to North America. So this morning, I had to wake up early to catch my flight, saying goodbye to Singapore, then going to the downstairs area of the Singapore International Airport to see the place that was actually featured in the Singapore arrival scene in Crazy Rich Asians. And after I checked in, I got this unique chicken satay burger from 7-Eleven, which actually tasted okay. And while lining up through security for my flight, I saw an impersonator of my good old Tito Rene. Where's my beer? And after I waved bye to my Tito, I got on my flight to San Francisco, enjoying several of their choice beers on the flight while I enjoyed my meals. And I also figured out that this area is one of my favorite places to sit on the plane, where, as you guys can see, I have extra legroom without the extra cost. But now, after a 16-hour flight from Singapore to San Francisco, I'm here at the San Francisco International Airport trying to figure out what exactly I should do. With the options being spending a little bit more money to travel into downtown San Francisco or just to stay here in this airport for the next 21 hours for my layover. So after trying to spend more than 45 minutes looking for an information booth to get some information on transit and baggage storage and finding out just for the day to store my suitcase it will cost me 25 bucks I've decided to take my suitcase with me and take a day trip to downtown San Francisco. I've been there before I kicked down the door at those golden gates It's San Francisco, I've been there before So near to the shop, but it's so far away We go San Francisco, I've been there before I kicked down the door at those golden gates It's San Francisco, I've been there before so near to the shop, but it's so far away So after walking all around San Fran all day and hearing the voice of Nunner Ray say that while I'm in the West Coast, get in and out, Jay. Get in and out, Jay. After more than three years since before the pandemic, I have finally broke. And now I'm about to have my in and out. Ooh, the double double burger. So heavenly, so good. Can't forget the patented in and out fries and their vanilla shake. So good. So good. So after I got my fill of in and out burger, I walked in and out of the area of where the NBA champion, the Golden State Warriors play, near the arena called the Chase Center. So I just decided to take a couple of nighttime videos. As well, just a 10 minute walk down the street the San Francisco Giants were just wrapping up their game and I also got to visit their home stadium, Oracle Park. But I forgot to mention about how earlier today, when I got into downtown San Francisco, I tried to find the closest Planet Fitness so that I can check out their showers and freshen up after my flight and check out their hydro massage loungers as well as their futuristic hydro massage chairs. Which, unlike the ones in Toronto, actually lean back and recline so that it feels like you're getting massage while lying down. But anyways, after a long, long day today, I wrapped it up by taking the BART Transit back to the airport and just chill here for the next eight hours until my flight leaves tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So after staying up all night, seeing that I was in an empty San Francisco airport terminal while waiting for my check-in gates to open, 
I realized that halfway through the night, I was actually in the wrong terminal. When I actually needed to be in Terminal 2, where the flights to Canada were. As well, finally finding my gate, being able to sleep taking a 5 hour flight from San Francisco. And after a long 42 hour journey from when I left Singapore, I finally arrived in Toronto this afternoon. Wow, it's been a while since I walked through these international arrivals doors, but I'm definitely glad that I'm back at home. I took my beloved TTC back home to Scarborough, where I'm about to just drop off my luggage and finally get to shower. Cause tonight there's just no time to rest. Since I'm headed with a couple of friends straight to the Budweiser stage to catch Alicia Keys in concert. And after, after partying, after the Alicia Keys concert tonight, I'm about to take the GO train home. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys tonight. The first one goes out to one of my DJs for my wedding, as well as one of my coworkers. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. And the next birthday greeting goes out to one of my family friends who I featured in a previous Land From Last Week video. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Babao. Happy birthday, Daniel. Hope everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Guys, I just can't stop thinking about how amazing of a time that I had at the Alicia Keys concert last night. Running into and spending time with a couple of my friends. With special shout outs to my friends, including Kelly, to Jenny, the one and only Roxy, one of my new friends, Sonia, and to Wayne for coming out with me to the concert last night. As well as this group of after partiers who wanted me to do some Jabberwocky dances for them. Who are you guys? <laughs> and coming home late last night, wondering why I had all these coins in my shoe, I want to throw a quick shout out to this lady who is sitting behind us who also paid me five bucks to have a couple samples of my fries. But yeah, last night when I got home after passing out and actually catching up on all the jet lagged sleep that I've had accumulated over the past couple of days, I gotta make back my money that I spent during my trip, go back to eating my classic peanut butter sandwiches, and check into work for one single night shift tonight. And before I go to work, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First up, a birthday greeting to one of my former classmates back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. Next, we got a birthday greeting to one of my friends back at the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gerard. Happy birthday, Gerard. We've also got a birthday greeting to somebody that I used to work with at the hospital. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Syrah. Happy birthday, Syrah. Continuing on, we got another birthday shout out to another person that I used to work with at the hospital and play beach volleyball with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amelie. Happy birthday, Amelie. Last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who I used to go to dance school with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jenna. Happy birthday, Jenna. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's busy and hectic episode that's gotten me overseas and now back at home. 
So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.